Hello and welcome back. Now we're going to be doing the M-Tech brakes now on the XJR. So we're going to be doing the rear brakes first. Okay, on the XJR. Now this has electric handbrake. Oh gosh. Uh, so hopefully this is not as hard as it looks. So let me show you what I'm doing. So there's the uh, rear brake disc. Oh, they're bad, aren't they? Look at those. And that's the ones I've got. So as you can see, they're not gone, but they're old. See the pads are not, they're not gone either, but they're low, getting low. Anyway, time I do the rust to roam around the north coast and that, they might be a bit low. And you can see the calipers, look, they've all started to go. Well, you see, last time I painted these, I painted them on the car, not off the car. So we're going to take them off, not just unplug them, just sit them here, rub them down, paint them properly. My idea is I'm going to do the whole thing red, and this plate I'm going to leave silver. I've got a new sticker to put on here. I promise I thought of doing this plate red, but then you're not going to see the red bits on the R, if you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, we're going to paint this red and then see what it looks like with the silver bit there. If I don't like it, I'll paint that red, but <laughs> I think silver might look good. So, uh, yeah. Right, let's uh, have a look what we need now. So I've undone the sliders. Like an idiot, I forgot to take this retaining clip off. Uh, and look at this. <gasps> These drop links, right, are only three years old. And look at them. This bottom one's gone as well. I noticed this a few a few weeks back when I was doing the exhaust. I thought that one looks a bit naff. Look at that. So I'm going to have to put some new drop links on. I can't believe they're three year old. What a joke. And they were proper Jaguar ones. So there we go. Now this has got my, I hate these. You have to, this is one of those where you have to turn it and it screws in. Oh no. Do you know what? I saw a YouTube tutorial on this and saw that and thought, Oh no, I have got a tool for it so, but let's hope the tool still works. Uh, I need to remove this piece and then the disc should theoretically straight off. Um, I think we're gonna take the disc off before we screw that in because it gives me more room. All right, so uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Well, there's the disc off. Uh, not bad, see she's old. Like I say, I've done 30,000 on, these discs are on it then. Um, like I say, wants a bit of a clean up around here. The wire brush and that. Uh, overall, not too bad. This is the bit that I don't know. I don't like doing this bit here. It's terrible. But at least we've got the right disc, so <laughs> that's the uh, best bit of it. Yeah, I think it was about time we uh, changed them. I mean, they're not gone, but uh, to do the North Coast next year, yeah, there's not a lot on them, is there? So if you haven't got one, you're gonna need one of these. Um, this was just a cheap one, I think. Well, I don't think it was cheap, but it weren't dear, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, this is the, this will take me longer to set this up than it will to turn it. I'll either get it first time, or I've got it all back to front and everything, but we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> so let's see how we get on. Wow, it's working, I've got this first time. I can't believe it. First go as well, oh, I can't even show you, it's that exciting, hang on. Look at that, it's turning. So let me just uh, screw it in. Wow, I've never managed to get one of them on first go. I hate these things. I had it on the Mini Cooper. That's what I bought this for, an old Mini. Uh, 03 plate one, not proper old Mini, like a proper one, but, and it was, see that, I mean, it's all like, I don't know, how, oh, it's all compl it's com complicated. Um, so yeah, this is the tool you need, but you gotta make sure this is tight on here, in them holes, before you, or else it just screws it off, and then you are in a world of issues. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get that done. There we go. Look at that, all the way in. Good, okay, good. By the way, if you're wondering what the soundtrack is, I have loads of random CDs in here, and one of them is a Scarface album, and it's in here. <laughs> so if you're wondering why you keep hearing Scarface songs, that's what it is. So yeah, that's um, good. So the next thing we need to do is rub all this down, and then we're going to paint it, paint this, then we're going to let it all dry. Really cloudy, it's really cold, and now it's turned down. Oh, so I'm putting the heat on it to try and stop it lacquering the paint. I think it's good. Look how dry that is. That paint, technique, whatever it is, it's really good by the way. Uh, I didn't show you rubbing it down because I don't want to make the video too long. Um, 
So now I've got a bit of overspray on the disc, but we'll wipe that off before we drive off anywhere. So look, the grooves are supposed to face the back of the car. I hope that's right, honestly. That's what I've, uh, yeah, I hope that's right. <laughs> um, yeah, because I suppose if it's, uh, if you're driving forward, yeah, isn't it? Hopefully. We'll just double check this actually before I bolt it. Bear with me. No, we're back in the game. Uh, this is the right way. So, um, when the wheel's spinning, because this is the rear right, the, the direction, the, 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 oh, the grooves and the holes should face the back of the car. So when it's turning, it's going, so when you drive forward, it'll be going that way. So the grooves will gently go into it. And I suppose, yeah, so it should be like that. Now there is some people got them on the other way around and I'm told that's wrong. So don't do it. So uh, I'm hoping I'm 100% right on this. If I'm wrong on this, oh my gosh, this is going to be, a, I'm going to be quite annoyed. <laughs> but I believe I'm right. I've, everyone I've checked has them like this. So uh, let's, uh, let's see how we get on. So you can see that he's scratching the coating off already, just turning it. Look at that. Oh, so it be nice and shiny when it goes down the road. So obviously that's much better. Considering the weather, I think that's going well. Look, I've got overspray in here. Oh, it comes off. It's like a dust. Oh, yeah, no, actually, it's not that. Oh, it's not like I thought. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put the XJR sticker on there. And, yeah, put the wheel back on. So, uh, definitely a lot better. You know, I think they're going to look, I think they look all right with the silver bit on when they get the R in there. I think that looked better than doing the whole thing red. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I could put, I don't know, I think I'll put the R on now, actually. So, uh, let me just go and get it. So, that's what it looks like at the minute. So, right, I'm just painting the locking wheel nuts, it's gone a bit. So, I think they'll look good when they've drove in. Like I say, I was going to put the R on, but it's still a bit too tacky yet. Uh, so, I'll leave that a bit longer. But I'm battling the weather. So, in this video, we're going to try and capture the bits I missed in the last video. Um, let's see, it all looks. Alright, uh, the pads are. You see that the pads are quite low and the discs are old I think aren't they they're not gone but they're old um, and you've got that rough edge but uh, yeah well that drop link is gone as well and that was a new one they're absolute do you know what it's hard to believe they're rubbish aren't they I'm going to have to get two new ones of them um, oh they make some right junk these days don't they anyway we'll, we'll do that in another video that's a video to come now isn't it uh so yeah, that slider was hard to get out, um, but I've cleaned the other ones on the other side and I'll clean these and copper grease them and put them back in again. Um, but yeah, so that's out. Anyway, yeah, I'd like say that was a bit of a pig to get that one out. Um, so yeah, theoretically, this should come off. Well, in a minute it will do. <laughs> so this is how I'm sort of getting out of this issue with it going good sort of hair drying brake uh, pads. Um, yeah. Forgot to even add that. I found that on the Ford Ranger underneath hooked on the chassis and that's what it's made for to hold calipers out the way. So I've cleaned this up because the disc was a bit stuck on so I just tapped it with a rubber hammer to get it off and I, I put a bit of uh, black paint on the back so we better put the new disc on and then put the bit on the back of the caliper so this has been incredibly difficult uh, doing this um, not because of the job itself the job itself is actually fairly easy it's a bit annoying I found my drop links got split in it considering this went for an MOT like um, I don't know a month ago and he never said nothing about it and the top and bottom one's gone yeah we're not but to be fair I did the fuel tank straps only about a month a couple of months ago and I looked at these and thought well, they look like they're a bit perished but I didn't but they've actually gone now so um that's another uh, YouTube video to do soon. This shouldn't be too difficult to do. Literally, it's just bolted on there and bolted on there. So theoretically, it should be all right. Um, but anyway, let's get back onto this. Now, this pad goes in at the back with this spring bit on the top. And this one goes in the front. Now, you want to copper grease all... Uh, all on the front here where, where it's actually going to sit inside the caliper. Alright. So, yeah. 
we'll uh, see how we get on. But that paint, I think, is absolutely brilliant. Look at it. It just, it's just brilliant, honestly. This, this is, I think this is one of the best caliber paint ever. I do. I, ra I rate it anyway. I don't know if it is a top brand or not, but I, it seems to, every time I've ever used it, it's really, really good. So let me uh, just get the pads in and uh, I'll come back. So there we go. Uh, that's nice and easy, isn't it? Now I've just got to drop that onto there and then put the uh, push rods. I don't know what they are. Sliders, that's it. Sliders. I've just got to clean them off. Put a slight bit of copper grease on, whack them in. Um, and that's this side pretty much done. So uh, not bad at all. Right, let me uh, get the caliper back on. So next thing we've got to do is put this clip in, uh, which goes in there. So you have to bend it a bit, so bear with me. So there we go, now we need to put this plate on. And that's going to go on there like that, and then the XJR sticker will go on there. But I'm not doing that today because uh, I've already knackered up one sticker. <laughs> Good job I had a spare one. Um, I did that last time I did it, I think, when I originally got the car. So we're not going to do that until tomorrow. We're going to let it proper 100% set before we even touch putting the sticker on it. So let me get that on. So there we go. So now I've just got to put the wheel back on. Um, and that's the two rear brakes done. Well, hey. So there we have it. Well impressed with them. Um, like I say, it look a bit better when they drive because it will wear that, um, oh, I don't know what you call that, coating off they put on them. Um, I think when you first drive it there, you have to be careful because I think that coating's a bit rubbish. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so definitely looks a lot better. Um, can't wait to get the R stickers on, and it's finished. So I'd give the M Tech brakes 10 out of 10 really, I couldn't knock it. I mean we haven't tested it to see what it's like, we haven't drove it yet, I mean they might be rubbish in that respect, I don't know. But at the moment the, the fit was perfect for this Jag, perfect. The pads were perfect as well. It all came apart easy, it all went back together again easy. It was just the weather that ruined it really. I was, you know, I've been looking forward to for doing this for two and a half weeks now and then it rained the day I was gonna do it. Um, I do prefer the red caliper with the little silver bit on like that. Because it'll show that XJR sticker up when I get it on. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Like I say, there's some bits I've missed on the video, I know, and I haven't gone into detail with, but it was throwing it down with rain and it was like getting a bit worrying that I was, I mean, Dad wants to put his truck back here tonight and I was getting a bit worried that I wasn't gonna get the car out of the way. Um, so yeah, we've managed to get the job done, that's the main thing. So we'll try and do a bit more in depth on the front one tomorrow, yeah. Um, but like I say, if you've got XJR, I think these are not bad, not bad buy to be honest with you. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Like I say, this is just another thing that we're going to do before uh, the North Coast trip next year, 851 or whatever it is. Uh, it looks like now we've got to do two drop links on the back. Even though they're not very old, um, we're going to have to do two drop links. Though that shouldn't be too difficult. It looks all right. Um, apart from that, you know, it's all right. But uh, yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with a new video on front brake discs on an XJR.